The World Economic Forum brings together political and business leaders from across the globe. With much attention focused on conflict in the Middle East, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky used the Davos stage Tuesday to remind the world what is at stake in his country's war against Russian invaders amid fears of Western fatigue. If anyone thinks this is only about us, this is only about Ukraine. They are fundamentally mistaken. Possible directions and even timeline of a new Russian aggression beyond Ukraine become more and more obvious. And if one must fight against Putin together in the years ahead, isn't it better to put an end to him and his war strategy now, while our brave men and women are already doing it. Moscow did not immediately respond to Zelensky's comments. As Russia invests heavily in rearming its forces, Kyiv says it urgently needs new weapons. Republicans in the US Congress are blocking an emergency spending bill that includes around $50 billion of security assistance for Ukraine. At a bilateral meeting with Zelensky in Davos Tuesday, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said his country's support was enduring. We're determined to sustain our support for Ukraine and we're working very closely with Congress in order to, uh, to do that. Meanwhile, Hungary is blocking a $54 billion European Union aid package for Ukraine. The EU Commission president said the bloc may seek to exclude Hungary's vote at a summit next month. Amid the wavering Western unity, Latvia, a close ally of Ukraine, said it's time for a change of rhetoric. We always hear that we are going to support Ukraine as long as it is necessary, as long as it takes. I think we must change that rhetoric that we are going to support and we will support Ukraine till the victory and victory of Ukraine. Not all of Ukraine's allies are ready to embrace that rhetoric. Faced with this hesitancy and a Davos audience distracted by multiple crises, Zelensky had one clear message. Russia remains the biggest threat to European and global peace. Henry Ridgewell, VOA News, London.